And here we question on the news, what has the arts ever done for us? So you've come home from a hard day at work, and you sit down, you're feeling a bit low. So what do you do? You turn on the TV. You want to watch something perhaps that might make you laugh, make you cry. But there's so much choice because there's so many talented people out there in the industry. After a while, you know you need a drink, so you go to the kitchen. On your way there, you go to check your Facebook, your social media filled with artwork and music. The radio turns on and fills the room with music again. And as you finish your night and wander upstairs, you feel relaxed because of what you've been able to enjoy. But imagine waking up. Waking up and it all changing. You look at your phone. But there's nothing there to see. No artists. No actors. No musicians. You walk down the stairs, confused and worried. As you try to turn on your TV, you realise you can't. It's not working. Why on earth would you need a TV when there's nothing to watch on it anymore? Yeah, I'm in my parents' house right now and none of the technology is working inside it. Um, which I know sounds really strange and like, you know, Netflix isn't working, Amazon isn't working, the entire TV is not working, um, my radio's not working. Sorry, what do you mean you don't know what a radio is? A radio is in a thing that plays music? Thinking your friend would be more helpful than customer services, you try to call them and explain your trouble. Hey, <laughs> never guess what's happened to me. I believe TV and radio have gone. I mean, they stopped working. Oh, yeah, my phone's buggered and... Oh, no, don't start with me, mate. You know, this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm not having it anymore. Thomas, I'm not in the mood. You know what? He didn't know what film, TV, radio or music were, and no one would. <laughs>